process, at least in a significant uh, traumatic brain injury situation, is that the family member, not the individual, contacts us from the hospital. Um, once we've re been retained, we actually set about doing an investigation very, very quickly. Speed is extremely important in that situation because we know that the insurance company is probably out there trying to do the same thing. And if you can get the information first, you can do a much better job of representing the individual. At the same time, we start the process of rehabilitation. Because at the end of the day, in order to really prove the case, we're gonna have to make sure that the person who's injured tries all the different therapies. And we try to make sure that they do that so that we can see, even if there are deficits, and even if they're little, we can see each and every one. We usually come to the hospital and that gives us a chance to talk to the nurses and the family about what's going on there and so we can help the planning for discharge long before they start. We attend the team meetings. Sometimes that's an unusual thing for a lawyer to appear at a team meeting, but it's really helpful um, and a lawyer should be doing it all the time to make sure that people who go out in the community have all the supports that they need and only by being at those meetings can we then support them to return home when eventually that occurs. Once the litigation process starts, it's important that the client and the lawyer stay in communication while the person does things like, whether it's occupational therapy, return to work, or whatever it is that their recovery allows them to do, because again, the information flow back and forth helps us prepare to ultimately bring their case to trial and be fully prepared to say that these are all the attempts that this person made to try to get better so that when we ask for that compensation, it looks like and it shows that this person has made every effort to do their best at recovery. At the same time, it's important to talk not only to the person, but also to their friends and family. Oftentimes, people who have um, brain injuries don't always see their own deficits. My favorite example is that irritability type tends to be something that comes with a lot of brain injuries. This is not a major symptom, but a small one. But I can help people understand when I talk to them and, and I say, have you been more irritable? No, they say. And I turn to their spouse um, and they give me a look that says, oh my God, that's exactly what my life has been like. And then the client turns around and says, well, I'm not more irritable, it's just everybody's bothering me. And, you know, there are things that you have to understand about brain injury that it isn't, there can be a lack of awareness from the person. So working with the people around them, their friends, their family, getting that collateral information for trial and using it to support them in their recovery are important parts and necessary pieces uh, to put together a litigation case.